Hello all, welcome to Excel Academy. Today we are going to study the problem with respect to triangular signals. Okay, uh, so this triangular signal he might or might not ask that we don't know. But for the sake of examination purpose, let's do all types of signal problem. So that if it gives this triangular signal problem, you are really the luckiest because these problems are really easier to solve. Okay, so if it gives this problem for at least some 6 marks or 8 marks, you know, it would be really helpful for you in a better way. So that is why for that purpose, let us do all the problems like let's not think that only this question come for exam and this doesn't come for exam no i've already told you in the last lecture you can see i've already written it in the last lecture that is the unit step signal this unit step signal question this sam signal question this signal that uh, he'll give you the signal and to uh, tell you to find out the uh, x of t signal and this x of t and y of t question so these four questions are really important and these four i've seen in many of the question papers but for the sake of uh, the examination like we don't know what he might ask sometimes he might ask those questions so that is why let's also do that question because those questions are of easier manner okay so let me uh, do let me start today the question with respect to what that is triangular signals okay the question with respect to triangular signals and in uh, and in the case of triangular signals In the case of triangular signal, he'll only give the signal, okay? He'll only give some signal and he'll tell to do, okay? So now here, in the same manner, he has given one signal that is x of t. So that is the very first question is, he has given one signal that is x of t and uh, the x of t is if I would like this. So this is the x of t signal he has given. So it is, you have minus 1, it is 1 and it is 1 here. and it is x of t and it is 0 okay so this is x of t and this is 0 okay and for for the amplitude 1 okay so this is minus 1 is minus 1 0 1 here the amplitude is 1 and then now we are going to now do the operation so what operation we have to do we have to do the operation that is y of t is equal to x of 3t plus 2 okay so this is y of t is equal to x of 3t plus 2 so now here you find two operations what is that you are shifting and scaling so according to precision your operation should be your shifting and scaling okay shifting and scaling and first let me do my shifting operation first so according to my shifting operation what t plus 2 is equal to 0 t is equal to minus 2 so according to t is equal to minus 2 it is your left shift because why the uh, time period the t values whatever you've got it is that is lesser than 0 so it is my left shift fine this is my left shift so now if i do left shift so let me take my minus 2 and minus 3 over here for the curve for the shifting process i take two extra values and now so minus 1 to minus 2 is one shift and minus 2 to minus 3 is another shift right so these two is another shift so that is why here this one place will be taken by minus 3 now so let me draw the signal so see here okay minus 3 This is minus 3 and this is minus 2 and this is minus 1 and so see here so this is minus 1's place is taken by minus 3 okay so now here if you consider 0 so for 0 it is minus 1 uh, 0 to minus 1 is one shift and minus 1 to minus 2 is another shift so that is why what happens so here so, a zero's place would be taken by minus 2. So, what happens to minus 2? So, in minus 2, amplitude will be 1 here. So, no need of to write a line here. So, this line corresponds to minus 2 itself. Okay. So, now here, so this is 1 to 0 is one shift and 0 to minus 1 is another shift. So, one place would be taken by minus 1 after shifting to two places. Okay. So, this is what is my signal. What is the signal? That is T plus 2 shift t plus 2 so this is t plus 2 and now you want what you want that is your 
the uh, 3t plus 2. So see here you want 3t plus 2, right? So what is 3t plus 2? So what is 3? So this is what is my x of a t. So my a is corresponding to 3. And what are you going to do is, you are just going to divide the time period by 3. Okay, so now, so here let me divide the time period by 3. So this is minus 3 by 3, this is minus 2 by 3 and this is minus 1 by 3. Okay, so now we are going to write it in the manner. So here see, so this is minus 3 by 3 is what? Obviously you know that it is 1, right? What it is? Minus 1. So let me consider this as minus 1 and this is minus 2 by 3 and this is minus 1 by 3. Okay. So if you consider uh, your, uh, what is that? Your minus 2 by 3. So what would minus 2 by 3 results in? Minus 2 by 3 results in 0 0.6. So this value would be somewhat minus 2 by 3 which is, is equal to 0 0.666. Okay. Minus 0 0.666 and here it is minus 1 by 3. So what is minus 1 by 3? So minus 1 by 3 would be is equal to, so I'll do it now. So minus 1 by 3. What would be is equal to? It would be is equal to uh, so that is uh, 0 minus 0 0.33. So minus 0 0.33. So you consider minus 0 0.33 over here. Okay, don't write it to 0. Okay, rewrite the signal again. I'm sorry for it. So let me uh, so see here this let me this is the signal like this and you're going let me rewrite the signal again because why rewriting is because this have taken it to 0. This is not 0 actually. This is minus 0 0.33. Okay. So here let me write it. Uh, so see here. So see here. This is here. So this is what is my minus 1 right. Minus 1. And this is what is like this. So don't write it to 0. Okay. So this would be 0 0.66. That is minus 2 by 3. Minus 0 0.666. And this would be minus 0 0.333. Okay. So now this is what is my signal. And then very next thing what you are going to do is. Yes. So what you are going to do. So this is what is the answer. Okay. This is what is your got the answer. So you need not to do any further steps. And this is what is your that is x of 3t plus 2. So y of t is equal to x of 3t plus 2. Isn't this easy? Yes, this is really easier than any other question. Okay. So you have got a triangular signal. So that is x of t has given a triangular signal over here. And for this particular triangular signal, what you have to do? You are going to do the operation that is x of 3t plus 2. And for x of 3t plus 2, what you are going to do is you are just going to one you are just going to do the shifting as well as scaling operation and first you are going to do the shifting operation then you are going to do the scaling operation and whatever the result of your scaling operation is x of 3t plus 2 okay so you got one question now so let's move on to the question number two so in the case of question number two he have given a continuous signal x of t okay what is the continuous signal so the continuous signal x of t in the case of question number two would be like this okay so this would be see here yes and so my signal would be okay Okay, so here the x of t is the same signal. I am really sorry. So x of t is the same. That is what you have, uh, what in the given in the first question. Okay, has asked you to do another operation with respect to the same signal that is in the uh, given in the first question, very first question. We will consider this signal itself without fail. And he is telling you for this signal what you have to do. Let me write it here itself. So he has asked you to do the operation that is your x of 3t plus x of 3t plus 2 okay so you know we have got x of 3t plus 2 here right can you see yes we have got x of 3t plus 2 over here 
and then we have to add this particular x of 3t plus 2 that we have got here see here we have got x of 3t plus 2 right we are going to add this signal plus x of with x of 3t okay so now we are going to find x of 3t separately so to find x of 3t separately so what is the given signal so your given signal was like this right so here if you want x of 3t what you have to do you are going to divide it by 3 because x of 3t is what x of 80 and your a corresponds to 3 and a that is is equal to a scaling factor they correspond to 3 and so therefore you are going to divide it this minus 1 by 3 uh, so you are going to divide the time period by 3 okay so now if I divide the time period by 3 I am going to get it here as that is minus 1 by 3 and plus 1 by 3 right yes minus 1 by 3 and plus 1 by 3 and so here this is what is my given signal fine so this is what so this is what is my given signal and then that is x of 3t okay x of 3t that we have got from the original signal now let me write x of 3t signal also here so what is x of 3t signal so my x of 3t signal is like this okay so it starts from it starts from minus 1 and here it tends to here okay so this ends to here so this is what is my minus 2 by 3 or what i can say 0 0.666 and here it is minus 1 by 3 that is 0 0.333 right yes but don't join this line to 0 period here so you need to leave two spaces after 0 and you are going to two small spaces after 0 and you are going to draw this ramp because this ramp do not uh, do not come under 0 okay so this is what is my x of 3t plus 2 so now you have got to do the operation that is what x of 3t plus x of 3t plus 2 right so what is x of 3t and x of 3t plus 2 so so here x of 3t so if you consider now uh, for my time period after that is minus 1 so time period after minus 1 is what it is 0 right after minus 1 here also it is 0 and here also it is 0 so that is why the whole thing tends to 0 okay whole thing tends to 0 and after here so if you consider from minus 1 to 1 by 3 so here also from my after minus 1 I have told you as 0 here also after minus 1 by 3 also it is 0 so from till here you consider this as 0 itself without any hurdles okay so now here after that so next thing what you have to do you have to see through that so here from minus 1 to 1 by 3 period so from minus 1 to 1 by 3 period here so what is that happening so from minus 1 to 1 by 3 period there is no signal here but so here see from minus 1 to 1 by 3 period is there a signal present yes so here there is a signal present so that is why I draw the same here okay so I draw the same here see I draw the same here let us here see yes so this is minus 1 this is minus 2 by 3 and this is minus 1 by 3 okay don't draw this to 0 once again I am repeating so see here so there was no signal after minus 1 here and here also there was no signal after minus 1 by 3 so 0 plus 0 was 0 but now as here you had time period from minus 1 to minus 1 by 3 so we consider that time period also over here where in this time period there was no signal so it is 0 and then here from minus 1 to minus 1 by 3 there was a signal so this is triangular signal so 0 plus this triangular signal would be the same triangular signal okay so now next thing what you have to do is so then here it is then here it is after minus 1 by 3 you can see that there is no signal after minus 1 by 3 here okay so now next thing so here if I consider from my time period that is minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3 so here also I consider my time period from minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3 I will consider this time period as 1 by 3 because as here it is present I will also take it into consideration so here uh, from minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3 there is no signal there is a, some triangular signal here I am sorry there is some triangular signal here right but if you consider here from minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3 is there a si triangular signal no so that is why this is completely zero so this is completely zero here also this was completely zero so if you add this part this signal to this part then it would be is equal to the same so it, it will be is equal to the same triangular signal so let me draw it like this okay yes so this is starts from minus 1 by 3 to 
this starts from minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3 okay so this is what is my triangular signal okay so now i'll show it to you in a clear manner so here i have not written it properly so i need to join it over here so how you have to write the signal is so here this signal starts from minus 1 to 1 by 3 so let me write this from minus 1 to 1 by 3 so see here i'll uh, show you so this was from minus 1 this is minus 2 by 3 and this is minus 1 by 3 and as your signal started from minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3 you are going to join the signal and you are going to bring it here so this becomes 1 by 3 so this is how we are going to write the signal okay how we are going to write the signal this is how we are going to write the signal and here uh, what you have to do is you should not make a mistake here so what mistake you do is so you take from minus 1 to 1 by 3 this time period so this is also starting from 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 time period so you should make sure that this 1 by 3 time period and this 1 by this minus 1 by 3 time period should be on the same line okay don't make it in a different line so this 1 by this minus 1 by 3 time period and this 1 by 3 time period should be on the same line because we are adding this and this so you need to make sure that this 1 by minus 1 by 3 time period and this minus 1 by 3 time period should be on the same line so i haven't written you so that is why i'm telling you do the process okay so now here this is what is the answer what is this this is x of t plus x of 3t plus 2 right yes so now we have another question so have other two questions so let us do those two questions without fail and now here he has given a continuous signal so that is uh yeah he um, here it is also the same that is he has, take, he has told you to take the very first signal that you have taken into consideration that is in the first problem and he has asked us to do that is the operation that is what operation so what operation is y of t is equal to y of t is equal to what is the question that is mix of minus 2 2 of 2 into t minus 2 so this is what is the given question so now what you have to do you are going to multiply 2 with t and 2 with 2 so what are you going to get y of t would become equal to x of 2 t minus 4 so here also the two same process that came into existence that is what your shifting and scaling so first let's do with the shifting so what is shifting shifting is t minus 4 is equal to 0 t is equal to 4 so now instead of two shifts you are going to make out you are going to make four shifts with respect to right so because this value was a positive value so the time value is a positive value so you are going to make the shift with respect to right shift okay right shift if you do you are going to get so this is one two three and wait uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, 4. And then here you are going to make a right shift with respect to 2, 4 shift. Okay, so there the signal was 1. So here the signal was 1, right? So this is 1 to 2 is 1 shift. 2 to 3 is another shift. 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 and 4 to 5. Okay, I will take here 4 and 5. And yes, so this is 1 shift, 2 shift, 3 shift and 4 shift. 1 to 2 is 1, 2 to 3 is 2, 3 to 4 is 3 and 4 to 5 is uh, so that you can consider it as 4 shift. So that is why you are going to make here the 4 shift. So that is starting from 5. <coughs> okay and if you consider minus 1 so minus 1 to uh, 0 is 1 shift and uh, 0 to 1 is 2 shift 1 to 2 is uh, 3 shift and 2 to 3 is a fourth shift so that is why the time period starts from 3 here and ends to 5 okay yes so this is what is my t minus 4 okay this is t minus 4 right t minus 4 so now for this t minus 4 so now what we have to do we have to divide this by 2 so when you divide this by 2 what you get so let's do that so we are going to draw the signal again right Wait just a second. Yes. 
yes so i'm going to draw the signal again and what i'm going to do i'm going to divide 3 by 2 so what is 3 by 2 so here 3 by 2 would become equal to 1.5 right 1.5 so 1.5 so here it is 1.5 i'll take and here this is 2 and here this is what is 2 by what is 5 by 2 so 3 by 2 we had considered it as 1.5 and your 5 by 2 will become equal to and your 5 by 2 would become equal to what 2.5 so this is 2 and 2.5 and this is what is my signal okay so this is what is my x of 2t minus 4 okay so this is what is the resultant so in all all the in the, in the three problems whatever we have done we have considered only one uh, single a continuous signal x of t that has been given in the question okay so now here let us uh, do the same though for the last question that we are seeing it is also the same we have considered the same first signal that we have considered for the first question and now what are we going to do she has asked to do y of t is equal to that is x of minus 2t minus 1 okay x of minus 2t minus 1 so this is a three operation process so that is one is a shifting one is a scaling and one is your reflection right so reflection so now let us do the shifting process first so my shifting process says that t minus 1 is equal to 0 t is equal to 1 so what is t is equal to 1 t is equal to 1 is your right shift by 1 so therefore whatever the signal you had you are going to do the right shift by 1 so let me draw the signal over here and it was ranging from minus 1 to 1 and what you had so one shift is so you are going to get here it is 2 and here it is starting from 0 ok minus 1 to 1 shift is 0 and you had 0 to 1 shift is 1 and 1 to 1 shift is 2 ok so this is what you are going to do it ok so see here this is what is you are going to do it right so this is what is my t minus 1 signal so now my shifting process is over if you consider a scaling process so scaling process is what happens in the case of scaling process you are going to divide it by 2 so 0 by 2 1 by 2 2 by 2 so what is your signal you are going to get it see i will draw the signal again so 0 by 2 would be is equal to what 0 by 2 would be is equal to 0 itself so 1 by 2 would be is equal to 0 0.5 and 2 by 2 would be is equal to 1 so this is really a small signal wherein this is 0 this is 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 and this is what i can say that is 1 okay yes that is 1 so now this is what my uh, 2t minus 1 signal so now what i have to do i have to do the reflection operation reflection operation it is not outside it is inside the x of so that is why you are going to shift it to the left side over here so i'm going to shift the same signal to the left side and what what is going to happen is so that is uh, you get a negative values of time so that is here i'll write the really the signal here and this is zero and this is minus 0 0.5 and this is minus 1. So, this is what is my x of minus 2t minus 1 signal. Okay. So, now this is what is the triangular signal that we have uh, done today. And here in the case of triangular signal. So, you are going to uh, solve only these kinds of problems. Okay. These kinds of problems are really easy. And if you get it for exam, you are the luckiest one. And as I have told you, those four questions only will come always. So, uh, in the tomorrow's class and in the further classes we are going to see through the questions with respect to the given signal so that is he will only give the signal and we have to do some operations so those kinds of questions and even that x of t and y of t questions okay so that is your x of t uh, and the y of t signal he is going to give you and you are going to do some of the operation with respect to those two signals we are also going to see through those kinds of problems also in the further classes thank you